Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and I'm standing outside the second rental property I ever bought back in 2011. Don't think I've ever done a video of this property since I hadn't started taking videos for my blog or anything back then, and haven't really had any problems or issues with this property for the last eight years. It's been a great rental. I know sometimes the trashed rentals and the nightmare stories are more popular, but it's good to show the good stories as well. And this is one that's been rented for quite a while without hardly any issues. Um, it's a little dirty. The tenants didn't clean up as much as they should, as you can see there. But really, for having it for eight years, I can't complain. And I've got all my rentals on investformore.com backslash rentals. <laughs> all 20 of them shows how I bought them, videos if I have them, numbers, all that good stuff. So be sure to check that out. Like I said, I bought this for 94000 in 2011. It was a short sale back then. And it definitely needed some work, but it wasn't in horrible shape. And we came through, painted it, put in carpet, some fixtures, nothing too crazy. I think maybe we spent 10000 on the repairs at that point. Things were much cheaper back then, <laughs> even though it doesn't seem like it's that long ago. And uh, I rented this to my brother-in-law right away. I think it was 1100 a month we rented it for. You can see we put in appliances, I think. But the kitchen was already here. Didn't do anything crazy there. Didn't even have to do countertops. Has kind of a little addition back here. This flooring was even here. I don't think we even added this flooring either. One thing, you see a lot of my flip videos where we're remodeling everything. And my rentals definitely don't have to do as much, don't have to make them perfect, and in the very beginning, I probably did a lot less than I do now, but we still made them nice. I think we replaced the doors and door handles, which made a big difference, and you can see it needs paint. We will probably replace the flooring, but this flooring's been here eight years, so can't complain too much about that. It's a three-bedroom, one bath upstairs, and it has another two bedrooms, bath downstairs so five bedrooms two baths total uh, it was rented for 1500 a month before these tenants moved out and i think they were here a couple years they were here quite a while and uh we're gonna be asking at least 1700 a month for it now maybe even 1800 we'll see how that goes but we're gonna come through like i said paint carpet like, this is something you don't know. If we were flipping a house, ooh, we'd definitely replace those windows, but you can see the seal's broken. That's why it's all wet in there. We'll probably replace the windows if the seals are broken like that on this too. But if the seal wasn't broken, you might be able to get away with leaving that window. The bathroom makes you think it has a master bath, but it doesn't. But again, it's not in bad shape. We'll leave that tile. No problem there. But then it is actually just a hall bath. All that's fine. We'll leave that. Well, like I said, I bought this in 2011 for 94,000. Put 20% down with my portfolio lender at the time. Then in 2017 or 18, we refinanced it. And I think the new loan was 188,000. So I ended up pulling out, you know, $100,000 of equity in this property after spending 10,000 repairs when I first bought it and, you know, 20,000 in down payment and Closing costs, so it's been a pretty good rental as well as making me money every month since then You know, we slowly raised rents as uh, Tenants have moved out and moved in. Oh one thing I want to point out when I first bought it There was a fireplace right there a wood burning fireplace and we just covered it up took it out because I don't want a fireplace in my rental. I think that's just asking for problems for liability. So we just took it out. That's why it has that weird angle in the wall right there. The other bedroom's back here. And like I said, they obviously 
you know, did some damage here and left some stuff, but it's not that bad. You know, I can't complain about any of this after having it for so long and not having any issues. Uh, this floor was already here. This bathroom pretty much looked like that and we can pretty much leave it like that as well. Don't have to do too much there for rental. The property is probably worth, oh, three, 10 to 320 right now. So um, that's another <laughs> pretty good perk of owning rentals in a crazy market. But I did get a really good deal when I bought it at 94. It was probably worth 140, maybe more than that when I bought it for 94,000. So I got a really good deal on it. Plus our market has gone up quite a bit since then, obviously. Rents have not gone up as much as prices, um, which is, you know, it's great prices have gone up so much, but it makes it almost impossible to buy new rentals because the price to rent ratio just doesn't make sense when you're buying a $300,000 house and it rents for $1,700 or $1,800. Even if you're getting an amazing deal, you know, it still doesn't make much sense. And that's why we started buying commercial properties instead. The backyard has never been amazing here, but it is less amazing now than it has been. So that's the property. There is a garage here too. So we'll have our guys come in, paint, probably do flooring, um, maybe a few other small things, put it back in the market, get it rented. Uh, it is managed by my property managers who are in my office. So I think I saw this property for the first time in five or six years last year walked through a bunch of them with the property managers just to see how they're doing so it's really been a hands-off experience for me not much going on and really i don't have to do much now either just making the video to show you guys how the rental's gone how it's been so that's it hope you guys enjoyed it we'll have more uh flip videos too if i have more rentals coming up that are vacant i'll try and show them as well to show how they've worked out and uh, if you guys like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll try and answer them. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.